What's up everyone? I'm Lex with LomTech Lasers and today we're going to be going over some rotary attachment and accessories and what you can do with your rotary and your CO2 laser. Today we're going to be using the Pronto 40 from OMTEC Lasers. I've been using these rotaries for about three, four days now and just thought it'd be cool to show all the basics and how to get yours started from doing Yetis, drumsticks, glasses, anything else that you can think of that's a cylindrical device you can throw in there and let's get going. So one of the first things you're gonna do when setting up your rotary device, no matter which style you have, these are gonna be applicable for both, uh, is you're gonna lower your laser bed. Some may require you to take the honeycomb bed out, um, others won't, I guess it, it depends on your machine, but with the Pronto, using the chuck rotary that we're gonna demonstrate with, we can keep the honeycomb bed in. We're gonna lower it right now just so we can show you how much lower it can go. Once you've lowered the bed, you can put your rotary in, however you have it set up. After that, you're gonna be able to plug this in over here. Before we get the tumblers onto the rotary devices, what you wanna do, measure out your diameter. You're gonna need this information for when you get onto light burn. After you do that, another good trick you can do for getting more accurate full frame pictures is take a string and wrap around your circumference. Take that string, you can mark it however you want, measure that string and this is what you can input into Lightburn or Illustrator or Inkscape or whatever it is that you use to draw with. You can use this as a more accurate drawing so when you put your images on there you can understand a better flow of where it's going to be. So when you're starting to put your cups on or whatever product you want to get it to where it's on your outside teeth so you don't have overhang. Rotate your chuck key tight enough to be firm. Once you have that on you want to take a guide and make sure Perfectly flat, there we go, good to go. Set the origin back up. Now this is where you're gonna wanna get your focal height. Use a whatever measuring device you have. And we're good to go. So once you have the image imported into Lightburn, you'll go up to your settings and pick what you want to engrave. One thing that you have to go up to is you have to make sure that you turn the rotary on. Your steps per revolution are gonna be different depending on your style rotary and the size, the diameter of what you're making. So make sure you get those settings in dialed right. Enable the rotary and click OK. Down here in the corner of Lightburn, you'll see it say rotary. Now you're good to go. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do now after the tumbler is done engraving, you can move that out of the way for ease of access and undo the chuck. After the Yeti is done engraving, you can use something like alcohol or soapy water. Um, I've been using alcohol, it seems to be working great. And you're just gonna wanna lightly go over the engraved area. Here's the finished product. I went a little bit gentle with the power, but when you're doing your own, you can adjust accordingly. So when setting up your roller rotary device, what you're gonna wanna do is lower the bed all the way so you can make sure you have clearance. On the Pronto, we need to take the honeycomb tray out. On your machine, it might be different. So we'll take that out right now. Yep. 
And just like the chuck style, you'll plug in the rotary, same spot. So once you've got your roller rotary attached inside, however you do it, I put mine on the knives. You're gonna wanna get your laser head in position and do this before you turn the Y axis on for the rotary so you can get your adjustments right. So there you have it. Those are the two rotary devices that you can use in your CO2 machines. Chuck style, rotary style. You can do much more than just Yetis and drumsticks and glasses. The possibilities are endless on this kind of thing. Whatever in a cylindrical shape you can do with these. When you first start and your images don't come out perfect, don't give up. All you gotta do is tweak the settings a little bit more and you'll get that perfect result. If you have any more questions or you have anything specific that you wanna learn or see from us, leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one.